Hey everybody, I've already seen you back with another episode of Fallout. The game crashed last time. Uh, when, after I blew up Priestess, and so I had to reload and try things again, and she's now mad at me, and I'm gonna be trying to stay out of her reach. And she should be dead now. Yay, and come back. Uh, hold turn. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yay. Um, alright, let's see if we can get out of here without the game crashing. Yay! Okay, cool. That works. Okay, so you can't walk out and blow her up, but you can't blow her up and then walk out. It's a bit of an odd one, but whatever. Um, anyway, after doing that kind of awkwardly. Um, thank you. Done. And do any more jobs, open it up, boys, go down, talk to Decker, and then... I'm very proud of you. You're ruthless. An attribute I admire. Kane will give you your payment. I hope you're available in the future. Under the circumstances. Yes. The merchant market is in the center of town. Surrounded by a number of establishments. You have the heights to the west, and old town to the east. You're in the Maltese Falcon. There's also the all-in-one store. The armory, the friendly lending company, the police, and unfortunately, the children of the Cathedral Hospital. They... encroach. Let's leave it at that, shall we? Under the circumstances, someone appears to be stealing whole caravans from the Fargo traders, and the thieves circle is causing their normal, minor difficulty. The merchant market is in the center of town. Under the circumstances. No, all right, let's go. Bye. Um, I'm going to go talk to the cops now and hope that they'll let me see me. Gee. Um, you're too late. Damn, I knew I was responsible. Um, and we'll pay you through. 1300 cups, 300 now, and the rest were all done. What do you say? It'd be a pleasure. Um, I'm ready. Let's go kill Deckard. Okay, whatever. Oh, also, he throws knives. It's the. Oh, crap. I forgot to put my gun back. Um, I will use this. Um, because it's got the highest damage and we're in such an enclosed space that range doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I will shoot the dude in the leather, because those are usually the toughest. Ah, oh, dear. And then I'm going to back up. Why is everybody shooting me? There's other people in the room to shoot that have bigger guns than me. Ow. Everybody's shooting me. Oh, uh huh. Um. Yeah, this guy's a melee combatant, funny. Which is, um, funny. Ow. That's funny. Can I get a turn? Rather than you guys just. Removing my ribs one by one? Nope. Okay. That went down real well. And now I've got to go back and blow her up. Again. Oh, damn it. You know, I got a couple of times where it was just like, you know, planted the dynamite and it was easy and we walked away and she blew up and now I'm gonna have to go through the rigmarole of her spotting me. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, and run away, and hope that my trap skill holds out for long enough that I can actually get away from her so the other dynamite can go off. And then she gets the blow up in the middle of the church, um, as I run away further. Oh, chunky, I saw that one. Done. She died. 
side is gone. Cane, ask a payment, blah, 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 blah. done, thank you, that's the last thing that we get from him, so I'm going to save now, so that I don't have to do that again, and so that I can get in into and out of there without it crashing, I think. I suppose we'll find out if we go back at any point. Um, there's a go on a bit. Uh, I don't know what to do, cause, um, apart from, like, good plan, I don't know. Um, uh, cancel. Let's just see, that does 12 to 22, that does 8 to 20, yeah, okay, that does higher damage, but, I need but is a big one. It's got less range, it doesn't matter what, for what we're gonna do next, I think. Let's see if we can do this again and not have me die in one round. I know changing out my armor would help, um, and I think I've got just about enough stuff to do it, but um, I'm holding out for a sniper rifle. Uh, whoop. Oh, this one. My name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. There's something I can do for you this fine day. Crime to report. Mm, they could try to hire him to kill me. Um, uh, 1300 caps, 300 now, and the restaurant will done. When you say it'll be a pleasure, let's go and kill these guys. Thank uh, you, come to say your goodbyes. That hurts, that's me. Mm, but at least this time I get two shots. Um, one's hit for six and seven. Let's hope he dies this time. Hurts. There's not a lot of places that I can go for cover, unfortunately. Oh well. Um, here's the damage rolls. Let's just hope I live through this. You really hurt, by the way. Ow. Ow! Dang it, Cassidy. You're probably going to finish me faster than these guys will. Cassidy, Tycho. Yep. Well, I don't have enough HP or armor. Alright, now that humiliating thing is out of the way, I'm gonna go buy myself some armor. Yeah. Or something. Actually, I'm gonna go talk to the thieves thing that he mentioned, because that will probably include experience, for quests, and... I'm going to have to go and get Lazy's Hightower's jewels off of... Um, the dude I bought the dynamite from, aren't I? Damn it. Uh, at least it doesn't cycle out of his inventory. There's a door in front of me, I want to open it. easy enough to do with. If I can click the door, thank you. Okay, looks like I'm having to nail it up in a damn it. Okay. Now let's play tag with the what I think is a minefield. Ah, it's a minefield! Okay, I'm just gonna save, cause ow. Um, and then I'm gonna yeah, try that again. Um, either one's gonna be trapped, isn't it? Locked. Oh, easy experience. Um, I really hate traps. Circle, play your cards right in the rim. Uh, 
person. We don't talk to no outsiders, okay? I'm gonna go talk to the dude in leather. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. I'm Max. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually. For now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? Oh, how nice. A joiner. Well, you've worked hard enough for a look-see. Damn straight, but I have. if you really want to join, then you'll have to take the second test. Quite simple, really. You prove yourself as a thief, succeed, and the world is yours. If not, then you'll never see us again. Except if you come looking. And if you don't understand, that last bit is a threat. <laughs> oh, what do you take me for? If you want cold-blooded murder, talk to Decker and his lot. It's so, so simple. In the hut, that's the just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this uh, chamber. Uh, She'll give you details, a map, and a f Um, Cleo, Jasmine, that one. Mm. Oh dear. Whoops. I kind of went through the place like a hurricane, as is my want. That really hurt, by the way. Those are not pleasant. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Anyway, let's get out of here. So, yes, that's the Thieves' Circle. He's got a very interesting accent. I don't know where he picked it up from. They're a bit funny. But they are a source of experience. Um, and I think you can turn them into the cops. Eventually. Um, they're a lot more harmless than Decker, which is funny. Um, but they're also a bit harder to find. <laughs> um, so, I don't tend to bump in. I don't know too much about them. Um... Again, they were underground, and I it took me until Fallout 2 to figure out that you could go up and down stairs that weren't just like a hole in the ground. Like, the concept of a building having multiple levels was still something that I was working on. Um, I know it sounds stupid, but I thought only the vaults were constructed like that, because everything I'd seen up till that point was like ground floor only. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? Well, that's a damn... Damn fine coincidence. That's what this store's here for. Um, which bit of your inventory is the necklace in? Done. Can I help you? Please tell me you still got it. Nope. Okay. Um, let's double check the other tables. Can I help you? Oops. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh well. Well, I'm screwed. Um. Okay then. I think it's on the necropolis now. Better get this um, hub thingy out the way, a uh, water thingy out the way, so that I've got more time to mess around in. Necropolis Hotel of Doom. Yes, and this is where it's called Necropolis. The zombie ghoul. The. not dead exactly. Not exactly the walking dead, but the walking. Brainless, anyway. 
Um, yeah, if you get too close, they get hostile. Also really slow. Really good for free experience. Um, just don't shoot the ones that are inside the buildings. Those are the friendly intelligent ones. Oh, and they don't actually mind if you shoot these guys. Mostly because these guys are will do these to anybody that gets close. Um, yeah. Ghouls are people that were exposed to radiation during nuclear fallout, and then basically it's kept them alive, but they start to look like rotten corpses, which has caused some problems for them. Unsurprisingly, they're very hard to kill, and they heal really quickly. Um, but they're not actually very good at killing things. Um, like, they're not as... Well, they're not as tough as super mutants, and they're certainly not as strong. Um, so, so they tend to be just looked down upon and unpleasantly regarded because they both look and smell like a corpse. Um, and the other thing is they um, have an ex hilariously long lifespan, so um, yeah, they um, tend to outlive any friends that they make, unless those friends are also ghouls. Oh, and they're sterile. Just a quick. Point note to the side, they, um, they rendered sterile by the fallout. Um, I don't know how I know that, but I know that I know that from somewhere. Um, but yeah, they're um, living reminders of the world that was lost and tend to have pretty interesting attitudes. Um, they either don't like mm, smooth, smooth skins, as they call us, or are just basically resigned to everything. Because, you know, they've seen and done pretty much everything. Ian. See, this is what I'm talking about when I was talking about Ian shooting me in the back. You don't get out of his line of fire, or, like, he has no problem trying to shoot through you, which causes issues. Oh no, don't hit dog mate, he'll just slaughter you. <laughs> and he doesn't, and he will. Yeah, they don't mind. The ghouls don't mind if you kill feral ghouls because these are these are ghouls who's basically gone. Well, nobody's really sure what happened to them, but they um, whether they've gone insane or dementia has kicked in or what. But um, basically, they um, uh, stop now. Um, stop now, please. Don't shoot the friendly ghouls. There are people around that are not hostile. Let us not add to our list of enemies. Um, but. They're basically regarded as putting out of their, putting them out of their misery because they're not actually people anymore. They act like stereotypical zombies, um, and so the regular ghouls are just like, yeah, that was my friend once, but now he tries to bite me every time I get close. story for the vault here is that, um, basically the vault was set up well and, but when the bombs dropped the, um, the door was open just a crack allowing a bit of radiation to leak in, turning the entire population of the vault to ghouls. Those that died in time of radiation. So, Necropolis, City of the Dead. Or City of the Ghouls in this case. Um, the, um, the way the characters describe the vault door being open, um, is as a mistake, but anybody who knows too much about the vaults knows that that's, it was actually probably intentional to study the effects of purification. Yeah. Feral ghouls, walking bags of experience if you can spare the ammo. Yeah, no room 
with weapons, no ability to defend themselves, very slow movement speed. Um, yeah, they're, they're very, they're like, they're one of the easiest enemies to kill. The fact that you can kill them isn't great, but, um, well, yeah, the whole, the whole situation is a bit pants. Really, um, ghouls are one of the never gets better parts of Fallout Universe. Because they're a remnant of the old world that's left behind, and that entails a lot of stuff. Um, and also, what happens to them is pretty sad. It's just. You can have sympathy for them, you can hate them. I mean, technically they were the people that led to the bombs being dropped, so... Um, there is some measure of... Stuff, um, in there, but at the same time, the ones that led to the being, bombs being dropped were actually in the government, and are probably now either long dead, or... Well, yeah. The ones that you will not find a goal, but will admit that they had a job in the US government before the war. Um, because the ones that did are now dead. Um, it's just the way it works. Or they were smart enough to realise what a mess they've made to the country, and so we're going, um, let's pretend that that didn't happen. How much experience is it going to take me? 3,000. Damn. Okay. Um, now let's go in and talk to the, you know, hopefully friendly ghouls. Don't mess with my stuff. You see an angry ghoul. What are you doing here? I'm looking for lost technology. Explorer. You get out? I mean it. Yep. Um, they're not focused on too much in these games. Um, apart from what ends up happening around here. Um... Yeah, the, um, particularly in Fallout, True, Fallout 2, there's an entire community of ghouls that's basically just like, we're old and decrepit senior citizens that are going to continue living forever, and it's like, okay, that is pretty funny. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's... Yeah, it's um, Fallout 3 has done... So, pull it through and pull it. New Vegas brought into the fact that brought up the fact that their lives must suck a bit more strongly than before. I'm glad I took some of the night vision. Um, I think I'm going to be taking more of it because this sucks. I can't see. Also, this will be the last game where I'm playing it this loosey goosey with my perks and attributes and stuff. Um, from Fallout 2 onwards, things start getting a little, little bit trickier, and so I will be um, making more concentrated builds. the purpose of me doing things. I still see a dead zombie guard. Oh, there's another... Shoot. Oh, there's a lot more of you. Sorry, I was not scanning. Um, I didn't bother to look for these guys. Oh well. At least this one you can get rid of. Also, these things make funny noises when they die. Kettle prod. Um, and yeah, a 
not actually a very useful um, melee weapon, but it does have energy cell in it, which is good if you had an energy weapon, but we don't, so we can see it. Um, what are you again? The bodies. Ew, goopy. Lots of dead bodies. Um, knife. Hmm. The currency of the knife is submachine guns and. The currency of the wasteland is submachine guns and knives. Sorry. Brain. Words. They come out of my mouth sometimes. Wait, don't shoot. Displaced gives me groups. Yeah, I'm not going to be shooting. Um, thank you for not shooting first. Can I help you with anything? Sure, who are you? I am the leader of <sighs> simple people who have left the surface because of the others who has forced you down here. The surface of the necropolis and the water is controlled by certain schools. We are a much more peaceful group which discussed the set. Um, who is this set? Set is a good like us, but has assumed a certain amount of power in the above world. Above world. He's an oaf. Why does he let you survive down here? He does not speak of it. However, Set is afraid of not having enough people to defend Necropolis if it ever needed it. So he gives us what water we need. Um, up until recently, we pumped our water from the ground. We were pumping the watershed. Until recently, what has happened to change things? Lately, I've heard rumors that someone has taken control of the watershed. However, our rations are still being delivered for some reason. Whereas the watershed was where the water is stored and hand handed out to us, where it is located to the north. We need to take the sewers to get there. Um, why? If you need to take the, if you take the water ship from us, then we will all die. With our water pump broken, we need it to survive. Is it possible that your pump be fixed? Um, that may be difficult. The parts needed to fix the pump were lost in the sewers under the watershed. Why is that so difficult? The sewers that are there are filled with monsters, and none of the people that I have set to retrieve them have come back. Are you willing to retrieve the parts so that the water pump can be fixed? Um, yes. Okay, I'll be on my way then. You get the parts return here. Is it possible that I can help you further? I don't know where the parts are. I don't think. I don't. Looks like I'm going to be investigating the sewers a bit. Also, this leads up to somewhere. Ah, this is the second bit of Necropolis where you get to talk to... Um, looking for the boss. Is that... There's ain't here. Okay. Okay, bye. Yeah, there's a lot of options to kill these guys. Leave now. Not really leave moving around. I'm alive for a time. To leave now. Leave now. Okay, go on. Really, I'll stop. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna open the door if I can. Um, and then. Um, shoot the girl bulls. Because um, nobody really cares. And going through a full metal jacket ammunition is always fun. So that's why I'm using this gun. I don't believe in selling the ammunition you have, I believe in using it to its potential. Um, and then selling the gun. And because the guns are worth more and way less than the. I could get an ammunition that will weigh the same. Problem that we have when you've got a melee combat and a bunch of people with guns. Yeah, you're dead. Um, <laughs> Dog meat makes no damage. Mostly an armored dog is not taking damage from the swings of the ghouls, you know that you've got a, a combatant. Is 
saying your opponents, yada yada yada. Oh, it's locked in, fuck the ass. Jetty, she obviously said, we're gonna do it inside, put the gun away so that I don't shoot people, although I have to shoot people, we'll see. Um, glowing ghouls. A specific type of feral ghoul that emit radiation and glow that in the dark. There better be a killer reason for standing in my shadow. Does next on the menu ring a bell for ya? Normie. Simple time. I'm set. I'm in charge. Get it? No. More questions. The mutants at the watershed need dirt naps. Makes my shadow grow. You slice them, and rewards run to you. Info to... Excellent. Teach those mutants the last lesson, then amble back. Hmm. If I say to my ghouls to hold off you, the muties might hear and know. So I tell you what, it's favor time. I keep shut. Got it? Okay. So yeah, that's Seth, the dude that's in charge. Not Seth, which is the guard at Shady Sands. Seth, Seth. Anyway, he's the dude that's in charge of the ghouls around here. He's a uh, piece of work. And then he pulls it done. Well, at the same time, he's not all bad. Manhole, I think it might be in here again. Alright, and where do I go? Yay, rats. Okay. Get these guys and find out what's going on in there. And it. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, there's a lot of things to kill around here, which is why I came here to level up before I have to kill Dickett. Um. Oops. Oh well, I blasted somebody else in the back for a change. Tycho, but remember that's Tycho, not Cassidy. Oh yeah, so it was basically asking me to kill some some super mutants over at the watershed in order to improve his influence. Um, and he's saying that if, he, if he'll do, he'll pay me, and um, he might give me more jobs. Um, I mean, he, I don't know if he's got more jobs. Um, You're out of ammo for the shotgun. Okay, I don't need to give you another gun. I'm glad that I have like eight types of guns here. Um, I'm so glad that I'm blowing through my ammo so fast, but whatever. I will hand you the 14mm pistol in just a second. Let's go down with these guys. Shouldn't be too hard, they're focusing mostly on me, and I'm not actually bad with hand to hand. I say that is he does no damage. going on. And if I have anything, because yeah, they did say something about parts, and I reckon these ghouls might have picked it up or might not. And here's your first taste of an energy weapon. And it's a long way from the beginning of the game. 
so yeah, up until this point, you would have had to have been relying entirely on melee or an armed. Um, particularly if you chose to specialize. So, yeah, it's, um... Mm, energy weapons are not not the best weapon choice. Also, I don't know how to get there, but I'm going to find out in just a second. Because I reckon the parts are down there. Uh, which means I'm going to have to go scavenging, which means that there's going to be something up here, which means that we're going to have to go up to the surface, which is going to be fun, because if I remember correctly, there's a bunch of super on top. I'm going to wait until I'm rested. What? Uh, this is not helpful. I can't see. Ghouls. And there's a bunch of these guys. Larry. Um, hang on. I'm gonna save before I do this. You just the boss, he's gonna hit you. Um, okay. Hey, you not look like ghoul. How come? I don't remember this chap. Name, I think it might be Harry, but he's what happens to most people when they become a super mutant. Mm, okay, move along then. See, Harry, yep, he's got the brains of a rock and he's in charge. Oops, oops, go through. I just need to get around there and check out what's in there. Um, so yes, Seth's proposition is that you fight all of these chaps. I will be doing that eventually. I just want to make sure that I get the water thing repaired first. Um, so that's kind of important. Pistol, a Desert Eagle, 14mm pistol, and teeth. Yeah. That is dog meat weapon. Yeah. So we get to kill these small rats, and then move on. We're gonna skip most of this because it's pretty boring. Um, or at least fast food, fast work through it. Some looking around and speed run out here, these things are not really an issue. Critically hitting the right pull, right pull for 32 hit points, reducing the right pull to a thin red pace, where the right was killed. Mm -hmm. Yay, guns! I mean, you don't have to walk to the end of the chamber to shoot someone.
So, that is what we came to get. I think. She's gonna say, that's random junk. I think so, yes. Um, it's the only pickable, upable random junk around here, so. Probably got a point if he's mentioned something about parts being done here. Plus, that was in the greatest concentration of mole rats. So, you know, it's not like there wasn't defense. One thing about having different color types for a gun is that you have to run the gun completely dry before you can reload it with a second ammo. Oh, I'm completely out of ammo for this. Awesome. Back to old faithful. with you guys, sorry. Yeah, here's where you start going, oh hang on a second, um, these guys are a bit, mm. Cause they're hanging around in the same area as super mutants, and there's a fair amount of stuff. Where is that? Super mutant, ooh, hello feral cool. Yep, you're a feral ghoul. Okay. Okay, only three, well, less than 300 more experience to go. Much easier. I knew that going around cleaning up with the would be a good idea. Creeps, go talk to people. Nerva school with an area of authority. Done. Okay. Uh, ready. And here's how you buff repair. Two. And three. So yeah. When we found the parts, I just have to go use them on the thing. I repair right now. Yeah, 46%. Here's hoping it works. If not, I'm quite willing to nick back to the hub and come back when I have a higher repair of my books. That would obviously be something that's edited out off screen. I don't really want to try and put you guys through that. Mine them all over. Particularly because I think I've been buying it all on money and, well, money in this game is a slow process. Okay. 
Okay, go for Don't die, saving. Whoa! Um, the massive water pump struggles to life after you say so slowly install missing parts. You've gained a level, you can obtain some experience by fixing the water pump. The bulls will be grateful. Yay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the tunnels underground and rest up some. And then I'm going to kick the ass of these guys. To hell, full HP, which will take a couple of days. Because we've got a healing rate of one. Yay, it's brighter. Awesome. Okay, I'm about to do something well, not fancy exactly, but well, you want to aim for the eyes with these guys because they're fairly tough. and nobody notices that you've just gone down a mutant. Oh hey, brass knuckles. I've got spike weapons. I have many brass knuckles. So now all the mutants are really got stuff. Cool. Um, let's see how much you I can hit. I can hit you in the eyeballs. 38 hit points. Nearly blinding the mutant. Oh, the pain. What have you done? <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is going to be interesting because I do remember some of the guys in here have oh, oh, rocket launchers. Um, Terry is dead. Let's check out Terry had. Terry had spike knuckles. Yeah, these guys aren't overly well outfitted. I like the ones you run into later. Get here. In the room, guys. Thank you. There we go. You have earned days of agony for this. Yay for critical hits. Ow! Okay, yep. Uh, he might not be very smart, but he's got a very fancy weapon. Why has everybody but me cycled through twice? Anyway. Oh. <laughs> So the first time I did this, I did this with a 10 mm submachine gun and opened up fully automatic for the first time and completely removed him. Like, he went from zero to dead in the space of one burst fire because I critical, critical him and did like 110 points of damage. So that was entertaining, to say the least. And he's running away because he's not silly. I think that's the chip with the flamethrower, so he's going to become my next priority when he walks in. Uh, Harry's now dead. Um, um, Gary. I swear there's some kind of joke on the developer's part. Um, um, say, yeah, we are. 
Um, and we named all the super mutants similar things. Alright, Ian's going first, that's good, sort of. Well, they're not, but. <laughs> Sally was hit instead of Ian! Sally was hit for 52 HP and killed. Awesome. That is kind of hilarious. This range, I don't want to try for aim shots because they will miss. Kill you, human. Thank you. You're focusing on me, which means that you've got to walk more to get here, and you're dead. Cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you exploit the AI of Fallout. Blah, blah, blah. Fallout's combat AI against itself. Basically, you shoot somebody and then wait. Um, or rather, shoot the right people and then wait, because that means that they're, they're going to try and run to you. Yeah, hang on. Um, yeah, this is really heavy. So I'm going to be handing this off to you, because you can't use it. Pardon me. I don't think I ended up picking up the... Um, Ammunition or grenades from last time. Damn it. Offer, thank you. Talk, bye. Um, never mind. Um, and then you go and check out this chap in the corner who's got a laser rifle, which stings. Um, now, um, never mind. I'm going to hand this off to Ian because I don't know if you can use it, but I do know that you're not going to be very good at using it if you can. And Ian can't use um, energy weaponry. You guys, you just hang on to that stuff for now. And this, and that, and the other thing. Um, I'm going to have to pickpocket all of this off of you, but whatever. Um, Sick of carrying uh, all of it around. It's very heavy. Um, as long as you just don't move it, you know. Portion of it. Hmm, nothing in. Now we go back and talk to Seth. Because we have done this to the rest of us. And then once I've talked to Seth, I'm going to end the episode and start by the way. More creeps. Not surprised. Going up. This is in Seth's back room. Okay. Um, ooh, 40 shotgun shells, club, and a shotgun that's going to be fully loaded, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to give all the shotgun shells to Tycho. Tycho. How do you? Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to give all the shotgun shells to Tycho once we. Ian, no, please, so that I can get out of here. Once we get back into a place where we're all in the same space rather than him being shoved through the wall due to clipping issues. Any time. But, uh, have some ammunition for your main gun. The time is wrong. Evening is proper for your shadow. He doesn't talk to me unless it's after dark. That's unfortunate. I think he's got a sense of theatrics. Uh, gotta rest in the freaking sewers, which is annoying. Anyway. Yes, 
This is all quite frustrating. And operate country to the conventional logic that I am familiar with. Evening is the proper time for your shadow. Alright, it's evening now. Let's go see if you'll talk to me. My sight, Walker. Follow Garrett for your reward. Now, I'm busy. Oh, there was Tycho that I clicked on. Okay, whilst Garrett walks slowly to get our reward, I'm gonna end this episode here and start it up once it, and start up the next one once he's picked everything up. So, bye everybody. This has been more Fallout from Oberodius, and I'll see you in the next video.